Hi, I'm Eduardo Battaglia from the University of Pisa, and today I'm going to introduce a device called Exosense, which is designed to measure human manipulation in a wearable way. Analysis of grasp and manipulation is traditionally treated in robotics with an analytic approach. If the mechanical exchange between the grasp object and the robotic hand is completely known, in terms of generalized forces and locations of contacts, it is possible to numerically quantify the interaction that is happening between the robot and the grasp object. At the same time, there is a recent trend in the field to study how human hands work and to try and transfer this knowledge to the design of artificial hands. For this reason, it will be desirable to have a measurement tool that is able to quantify the mechanical interaction that is happening during human grasp in a numerical manner. To try to address this point, in a previous work we introduced Thimble Sense. Thimble Sense is a sensing system that can be placed on fingertips and used to measure forces and torques on each finger. This information also makes it possible to estimate the location of contact centroids through the intrinsic tactile sensing algorithm, thus giving complete information on grasp and manipulation. A main drawback of the previous solution was that it relied on a motion capture system to measure position and orientation of the fingers, and this made the system essentially not portable. In this work, we want to fix this issue and move towards a system that is both wearable and portable. To obtain this result, we decided to design a passive hand exoskeleton that is able to measure the forward kinematic of each finger. We used a parallel solution with the exoskeleton being attached to each fingertip with a thimble sense, and the position and orientation of each thimble sense being obtained through the encoder measurements. In particular, we used 5 degrees of freedom for the fingers and 6 for the thumb, which has a more complicated structure. Each kinematic chain is connected to a base, which is strapped on the hand. The orientation of the base is measured through an AMU attached to the base, which allows to estimate the direction of gravity. The system was validated by grasping a sphere of known mass and comparing the measured forces with the known external force applied by gravity. And the error was quantified with classic analytic tools for analysis of grasp. The results were positive. We also performed an experiment with a double ball setup, which is meant to provide an indication of a task that could be studied using our tool. You can see that when the subjects first grasp the ball, the interaction forces are observed, and then when the second sphere kicks in, the increase in forces is observed. This is more evident when the second sphere is manipulated to diminish the internal forces. I would like to thank you for your attention and please do come talk with us at our interactive session.